With an ocean so vast and unexplored, knowing everything that lies beneath is nearly impossible. As of recently, it is estimated that only 5% of the ocean has been traversed by mankind. That leaves 95% left unexplored and full of mysteries. In today's episode, we'll talk about 13 of the ocean's most intriguing mysteries, from UFOs that dive underwater and disappear to underwater alien bases. We'll cover it all. The first mystery we're going to talk about is the Shag Harbor UFO incident, an extraordinary event in 1967 that practically put the small fishing village of Shag Harbor on the map. Located at the southern tip of Nova Scotia, Canada, this rural community would be host of one of the best documented UFO events in the past 40 years. The first indication of this mysterious occurrence would come from local residents who noticed strange orange lights in the sky on the night of November 4th, 1967. Most witnesses agreed that there were four orange lights that evening. Five teenagers watched these lights flash in sequence and then suddenly dived at a 45 degree angle towards the water's surface. The witnesses were surprised that the lights did not dive into the water, but seemed to flow on top of the water, approximately one half mile from the shore. Many speculated that it was a plane crash, but there was no report of a plane crash that night. The next oceanic mystery we're going to talk about is the Kaz 2. The Kaz 2 is a yacht that was found adrift 101 miles off the coast of Australia in 2007. The three crew members were nowhere to be found, and their fates have never been determined. The ship was crewed by Derek Batten, Peter Tunstead, and James Tunstead. It separated from Arley Beach five days before it was discovered adrift. They were headed to Townsville, Queensland, and then around to Western Australia. When investigated, the ship was completely intact with everything exactly how one would expect it to be. Food, plates, and silverware were still on the table. A laptop was on and working, and the engine was running. The GPS was fully functional, as was the radio. The only sign of distress besides the missing crew was one of the sails had been shredded, and there was no life raft on board. There is still no conclusion regarding the fate of the crew. This story is similar to that of the Mary Celeste. The Mary Celeste was a Canadian built American registered merchant brigantine that was discovered adrift and deserted in the Atlantic Ocean off the Azores on December 5, 1872. The ship had set sail on November 7, 1872, with seven crew members Captain Benjamin Spooner Briggs, his wife Sarah, their two year old daughter Sophia, and the last log entry was recorded at 5 a.m. on November 25, 1872. When the ship was found, it was in seaworthy condition, with its sails set and a hot half-eaten meal still in the cabin. The cargo and personal belongings were largely undisturbed, although a longboat was missing. The crew and passengers were never heard from again, and various theories have been proposed to explain their disappearance, including mutiny, evacuation due to bad weather, or even supernatural occurrences. In 1884, Arthur Conan Doyle published J. Habakkuk Jeffson's statement, a short story about a survivor of a ghost ship called the Mary Celeste, which brought more attention to the mystery. Despite numerous investigations and theories, the true fate of the Mary Celeste and its crew remains unknown. The third entry on the list is an island that completely disappeared from the ocean. Famously known as Bermeja Island was once part of the Gulf of Mexico and it disappeared like it was never there at all. Bermeja seemingly vanished around the turn of the 21st century. First documented in a Spanish compendium of all the islands in the world in 1539, Bermesia's existence was once undeniably evident, etched clearly on maps and charts dating back to the 16th century. But now if you take a boat to its coordinates, you will find nothing but empty water and open skies. Some hypothesize that a natural erosion has caused the island to disappear, while more cynical minds have lobbied accusations that the island was deliberately destroyed by American interest in oil drilling in the region. But beyond these speculations, no one really knows what happened to the vanishing island of Bermeja. Next up is the Yonaguni Monument. Yonaguni Monument, or also known as the Japanese Atlantis, was discovered in 1986 by a man named Kahichiro Aritake. Kahichiro Aritake was diving off Yonaguni Island in Okinawa to check the hammerhead sharks in the area. In the surrounding shallow water, he came across a particular structure that seemed out of place on the ocean's floor. It resembled a pyramid, with multiple steps or layers leading up to the top, with clean symmetrical edges, angles, and even steps. Standing at 82 feet tall, 828 feet long, and 196 feet wide, the rock itself, composed of shale and sandstone, dates back 20 million years. It covers around 14,763 square feet. No one knows how the monument got there in the first place. According to some, the monument is a stepped pyramid. In addition to many straight lines, some of the rocks reportedly have carvings. Nearby are other formations suggesting a submerged ancient city. This theory contends that the structures are at least 5,000 years old and belong to a lost civilization. 
possibly the legendary Mu or Lemuria. Other researchers, however, claim that the monument is natural, shaped over the years by underwater currents. They state that the symmetry of the rocks is not as pronounced as reported, and that the structure appears to be made out of solid rock rather than distinct blocks, which would suggest human activity. Furthermore, they argue that the alleged carvings are naturally occurring scratches. The mystery that lies within the Yonaguni monument is whether it is naturally made or a man-made structure built by a lost ancient civilization. But the true identity of how it got there still remains a mystery. The fifth oceanic mystery on the list is the USS Scorpion. In 1968, a US nuclear submarine suddenly disappeared in the Atlantic Ocean. One of only two nuclear submarines have ever been lost by the US. The location of the Scorpion remained a mystery for a number of months but was eventually discovered after an extensive investigation. However, her discovery only prompted more questions. Questions that still remain officially unanswered. The Scorpion was one of the six American Skipjack-class nuclear fast attack submarines and was commissioned in 1960. She served during one of the most intense periods in the Cold War, where nuclear war was always a constant threat. Eventually, the USS Scorpion was deployed into the Mediterranean Sea and once finished would go directly to Virginia. But after it was finished in the Mediterranean Sea, the USS Scorpion never reached Virginia. The Navy was also confused and tried in vain to make contact with the Scorpion. Only a few scenarios came to mind. It had either gone down or was experiencing serious mechanical issues in that the Soviets weren't to blame. A man named Craven was certain a torpedo on the vessel was to blame. But the Navy resisted this theory as it would highlight reliability issues and more importantly would mean accepting that all such torpedoes had the possibility of being defective. Plus, if a torpedo had detonated, the damage to the torpedo room would clearly be visible from the outside of the wreckage. But this was not the case. There still isn't a solid explanation to this day. The next mystery on the list is the infamous Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is an area roughly bounded by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. No one keeps statistics, but in the last century, numerous ships and planes have simply vanished without a trace within the imaginary triangle. Many theories have been created on why these ships and planes disappear. No one can really say what happened to the people and the vessels that disappeared. Some believe that the Bermuda Triangle is home to supernatural forces such as aliens and sea monsters. Others may argue that it is cursed by sailors who have died in the sea centuries ago. Despite these accusations, the Bermuda Triangle is still a mysterious place that has unusual weather patterns, making it a dangerous place to navigate. Next on the list were a couple shipwrecks that were found at the bottom of the ocean that disappeared mysteriously. An international investigation has been launched into the mysterious disappearance of three Dutch Second World War shipwrecks, which have vanished from the bottom of the Java Sea off the coast of Indonesia. The remains of the Dutch vessels are from the Battle of the Java Sea, which was fought in 1942 between Allied and Japanese forces. Discovered in 2002 on an amateur diving expedition, it was a sacred war grave as over 2,000 people died in the battle. Parts of the wreckage site were discovered to have vanished by divers undertaking preparations for the 75th anniversary of the battle. Many people believe it was salvaged for parts and sold, but according to an interview with Paul Kuhl of the salvage firm, he said that it is impossible to salvage the shipwreck because it was too deep. Now the question remains, what happened to the shipwrecks at the bottom of the Java Sea? Next on the list is a fish that is actually believed to predict when a natural disaster is about to happen. The giant ore fish is long, slender, and well, shaped a lot like an oar. It's mesopelagic, meaning it normally lives in the intermediate sea depths between 600 and 3300 feet. The mystery of the giant oarfish's ability to predict natural disasters gained momentum recently, when it was said that the fish was seen near the surface shortly before the massive 2011 tsunami in Japan that caused the Fukushima nuclear disaster. One event has occurred in the Philippines in 2017 in Luzon, which is one of the major islands in the Philippines, it was hit by an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.6. .6. But before Luzon was hit by an earthquake, two giant oarfish washed up on shore on a beach on another island in the Philippines. People believe that the oarfish is a sign of an upcoming earthquake, but most people believe that it was just a coincidence since the oarfish was found 800 miles from the quake center. There are other instances where the oarfish has shown up around the same time as giant earthquakes or tidal waves. Due to these events, many believe that a sighting of a giant oarfish is a sign of an upcoming disaster. Next up is a mysterious underwater sound known as the bloop. The bloop is the given name of a mysterious unknown underwater sound found during the 90s. In 1997, researchers listening for underwater volcanic activity in the southern Pacific recorded a strange, powerful, and extremely loud sound. They placed two hydrophones, also known as underwater microphones, more than 2,000 miles apart in the Pacific Ocean. 
They recorded numerous instances of the noise, and it was unlike anything they've ever heard before. Not only was it loud, the sound had a unique characteristic that became known as the bloop. Many people believe that the bloop may be a sound from an unknown species of whale, but some people believe it is the sound of an ancient sea monster. The tenth mystery on our list is the lost city of Atlantis. The lost city of Atlantis was first mentioned by the Greek philosopher Plato more than 2300 years ago. It is known as one of the oldest and greatest mysteries of the world. According to Plato, the utopian island kingdom existed some 9,000 years before his time and just disappeared mysteriously one day. Famed for having been the exhibit of all worldly pleasures, this city is enigmatic as it is inviting. Other than the legend of the lost city of Atlantis and other fables, the facts about the city remain unknown. Stories also claim that the original inhabitants of the lost city of Atlantis are believed to be of extraterrestrial origin and reached there about 50,000 years ago from the Larian star system. Despite being much taller and fairer than today's average human being, the average lifespan of the people on Atlantis was believed to be about 800 years, making them robust prototypes of the existing human race. The next is about a mythical creature that a lot of people are starting to believe may be real, just not exactly how we thought they were. Mermaids, sometimes called sirens, are natural beings who, like fairies, had magical and prophetic powers. They loved music and often sang. Though not immortal, they are believed not to have a soul. In January 1943, Christopher Columbus and his crew were sailing near the Dominican Republic when the famous explorer announced he saw something peculiar in the water. According to the priest Bartolome de la Casa, who had read Columbus's ship logs which stated, On the previous day when the Admiral had gone to Rio del Oro, he saw three mermaids that came very high up out of the sea. They were not beautiful like they were depicted in stories. Many theorize that mermaids still exist today, but are horrific humanoid sea creatures that devour anything in their path. If true, that provides a whole new outlook on Disney's Little Mermaid. Next, we're going to talk about underwater alien bases. Underwater alien bases have been talked about a lot recently in many circles. Many believe that in the Ruina Triangle there's an underwater alien base, and that is why many planes and ships keep disappearing. An online user shares that the Navy knows where the base is, and they are intentionally avoiding it. The US military also believes that the base has been there for a very long time. They believe that the aliens residing on the base do not care about humans but are only researching our planet, and they will only take action on humans if they interfere with their research. Others also believe that's not just an alien base, but also a base where AI or drones take control of all the research. This means that the aliens only use their advanced technology in the underwater base rather than actually living there themselves. These bases are believed not to only be in the Bermuda Triangle, but also various places where UFO sightings have been found. One of the more popular places where it is believed that there are underwater alien bases is the Solomon Islands as well. Last on the list is the Baltic Sea Anomaly. The Baltic Sea Anomaly is an unusual and unidentified object that a group of Swedish treasure hunters discovered at the bottom of the Baltic Sea in 2011. The anomaly is a disc-shaped object with a diameter of roughly 196 feet, located at a depth of 295 feet. Despite numerous attempts to investigate the anomaly, the true nature of its origin remains a mystery. Some have speculated that it may be a crashed UFO, a sunken ancient city, and even a secret Nazi weapon. Others argue that it's simply a natural formation or a shipwreck that has been distorted over time. In 2019, a team of scientists conducted a new study of the Baltic Sea anomaly using advanced sonar technology. While the results were inconclusive, they did suggest that the anomaly may have a unique structure and composition unlike anything else in the area. The true identity of the Baltic Sea anomaly remains a mystery, and it continues to fascinate and intrigue researchers and the public alike. There are many more mysteries yet to be discovered in the ocean. With only 5% of the ocean explored, you need to think of what else could be down there. Could the ocean hold the key to unlocking advanced technologies or reveal some lost technology ancient civilizations had? Could we find the answer to how they built some of the wonders with the lack of modern advancements? Is there something below the ocean that the government is hiding from us? This is why you should always question, research, and come up with your own conclusions on a topic. We know throughout history that what you're told isn't always the truth. That's what we here at Spiracy is all about. Would you like us to go over any of these mysteries more in depth, or do you have another mystery that you would like us to cover? Let us know and we'll do a thorough research on the topic. If you love mystery, you'll be sure to love this video here. Do not forget to click the like and subscribe button for you to be updated on our future videos. Always remember, the truth is out there.